In this video, I want to go over a program that will allow you to share files across your home network. And the program is called Duck2, also referred to as Duck2 R6. If you found the video on YouTube, I will provide a link below the video that will give you a description and how to install it on or links to how to install it on your system. And it can be used on multiple platforms, not just a Linux operating system, it can be used with Windows, Mac, Android, iPhone, and can either be installed by Snap for a variety of different operating Linux operating systems. Let's take a look at what Duck2 is. Duck2, also referred to as Duck2 R6, is an easy file transfer tool designed for your LAN, which is a local area network use or your home network. You can use it to transfer files from one PC to another without worrying about users, permissions, operating systems, protocols, client servers, and so on. Now like I said, uh, Duck2, it's only for home use. It's not for transferring from a machine across the internet. It's if any devices that you have within your home, if it's attached to your Wi-Fi or either to your uh, server or network through a cable you can transfer files from one machine to another so here's a lot of the features it lists and I'm not going to read them and I'm on an Ubuntu or Ubuntu Mate system so if you're on an Ubuntu or any of the Debian based systems you can add this repository as you can see there's Duck2 and it's been modified or updated on 9th month of 19th of 2021 now this is not the original creators uh, the original creators is no longer supporting it but since it's open source there's other people that keep it updated to work with newer operating systems. To start with, if you have an Ubuntu or Debian based system, just simply copy the PPA, open your terminal, paste it in there, press the enter return key, put in your password, and then copy and paste the sudo app get update, or you can leave off the get, just sudo app update, paste into your terminal, and then you can copy the install command, sudo apt install duck2. Just simply paste that into your terminal, press the enter key, and it will install the program. Now here's other ways or other information on the program and there's even ways of installing it and it shows where you can get it on other links as well now there's one thing I want to point out if you install it and it doesn't appear to be working it's not broke you just have to make sure that you've opened up port 64644 so that way that it's not your firewall is not blocking it out from sending f files and folders and text messages from one machine to another and if you're using the UFW like I have then you can open up your terminal or leave your terminal open after you install it just simply copy this paste it into your terminal and the UFW is the uncomplicated firewall which is the default install within Ubuntu that will open up that port so that way that it can find other computers and devices on your network so that's how you install it now here is the menu of my parents computer or my mom's computer here's mine on the same network the first time you install it it'll show a little disclaimer that you have to accept and then this is on my parent my mom's computer you can see there's my system on her network and then below is my system now let me minimize the browser and I'm going to open up a virtual machine that has Linux light I downloaded an extra uh, operating system so I can show you how that it works now let me click on the menu and I uh, decided to do a small uh, Linux distribution because my little hard drive is very small so let me open up Duck2 and here's Duck2 on this virtual machine as you can see you don't see my machine yet because I haven't activated or uh, opened it up so let me open up Duck2 on my system and as you can see immediately it found the Linux Lite system which is here and the Linux Lite Duck2 found my system which is here so let's say on my system I want to send a text message to here so if someone is across the house on my home network or someone's in the shop and they're on the network then I can click the Linux Lite I say send some text and I can say like hello and I'll hit send as you can see here they can open up the send and if this is minimized they'll get a little indicator and you can see that it says hello so you can send any message that you want and I could say copy it to the clipboard or I could go back and click on buddies and send them a message so I could go back here and I could say hello in return so I could send back hello and hit send and as you can see here I got it and it says hello so that way you can send text messages back and forth uh, so that's easy and another thing let me first before we start doing anything here's the the folder icon and if you want to see the names of them just click the three dots and that shows you 
uh, the names of each icons below. So that's your receive folder. So if you're receiving files or folders, you can just simply click that icon and it will take you to the destination where they downloaded to your system. Now if you click on that one, that will reveal your home IP address. And if you click this one, this brings up the settings. This allows you to change your default downloads. So as you can see here, the home, and then I have a Linux light in the downloads folder. You can change that folder. You can even change the color of the little application window you see here. You can enable notifications. That's where I tell you, told you a while ago. So if you keep it minimized, you can enable notifications. So if it's minimized and someone sends you a file across the network, a little notification will appear. You can say minimize to the uh, system tray once it's closed. So that way it keeps it on the tray. All right, let's now uh, send a file. So let me click here that I'm going to send. I'm going to send a uh, some files. I'll say send a file. So I'm going to go to downloads. I'll just send something very small. Uh, as you can see here, there's something for my uh, antivirus clam T. I'll send that one that's very small. Hit open and it's already sent. So as you can see here, it's here on the recent. So if I click here, it opened up immediately to the location and there is the file that I sent this machine. So it sends very quickly. And you can even send entire folders. Now I'm not going to send a folder, but if you did, you click here and like, well, I'll go ahead and send this one. It shouldn't be very big. It's just my AMD driver. So I hit open. As you can see here, it sent the entire folder. So if I click here, it opened up and there's all the files in that particular folder. And as you can see here, it downloaded that folder into my downloads folder. And as you can see here, there's all the files. So it sent it very, very, very quickly. And it sent a lot of information over uh, the local area NAND because you're not sent LAN. You're not sending information across the internet. So you're not really dependent upon your internet speed. You're just dependent upon your LAN speed or your network speed. Let me send it from this, in, this computer back to this one. Let me go back here. Let me click on my name and I'll just send a file I'll say send the calendar here, hit open, and it's immediately sent there. So when I click on calendar, it immediately opens up because it went to that location and opened up that folder. So here's the calendar that I sent from the Linux Lite system to my Ubuntu Mate system. So if you look, here's the buddies that are on your network. This shows you the recent activities that occurred from system to system while it's currently running. Here's the about to the dot 2 r 6 and if you click that link that's from the original creator because that's the original creator here who is no longer updating but there are other people and I have links on my website that are keeping this uh, current and keeping it active. So if you have a Linux, a Windows, a Mac, an Android, iPhone uh, it's a great way of install sending files from one device to another without putting them on a thumb drive or without uploading them to the cloud and then downloading it from the cloud to another system. You're just sending it from one machine to another and it's very, very quick. Hopefully this video has been helpful to you and have a great day.